So in looking at common carriage, there is basically a four-point test of what the FAA is going to look at to determine if what someone's doing is considered common carriage or not. Number one is holding out to the public. So ads like signs, flyers, TV, newspapers, but it could also be word of mouth, making public appearances, anything like that. So that's advertising, essentially. The willingness to perform carriage of all comers, which we talked about in the previous video. Um, with regards to this, the FAA has held if someone has a contract to carry only people from one company or only people from two companies, two private entities, that is not considered common carriage. However, um, it's basically three or more contracts. So if, a, if uh, someone's carrying employees of, say, three different companies, for example, then the FAA has ruled that that it may be considered to be common carriage. So looking at that, whether you're looking at carrying all people or just a few people, that's another piece of this test. From place to place, obviously that is self-explanatory. And then for compensation or hire. Um, so because of this higher duty to care, it's approaching that of someone who's an insurer. It has a responsibility to make sure, guarantee, ensure safety to anyone who comes. So you're nearly totally responsible for the safety and security of the passengers or the cargo. So what about under Part 91? Um, the FAA is going to look to see if you have what's called an independent interest in going on a trip. So let's say an example of that. Let's say that someone posts this on Facebook. This person is saying they want friends to share flight expenses on weekend scuba or swimming adventures and $200 each per trip um, and requesting to send a message if you're interested. Is this going to be seen as common carriage or not? Let's take a look at the four-part test again. So the Facebook ad was holding out. There was obviously a willingness to transport persons or property and from place to place, and there was a request for money involved. So would this be considered common carriage? Or does the person have what's called, like I said, an independent interest? Would the person have gone scuba diving if nobody else had come along? If the person would have gone scuba diving if no one else had come along, it would not be considered to be common carriage, or at least the pilot could argue that it was not. However, if the person was not going to go scuba diving if no one else came along, then it could very easily be considered by the FAA to be common carriage. So Part 61.113 allows private pilots to share expenses of a flight for things like fuel, oil, rental fees, provided that everyone going on the trip have a common purpose. So you could offer to fly your friends to a baseball game in New York, for example, if you happen to be attending a wedding there, and you take some people along, the FAA would have no problem with that pilot allowing the passengers to pay a portion of the flying expenses. But if we look at examples like websites called Flight Now or Air Pooler, these websites basically were allowing pilots to post where they were going. Um, it essentially was an online service where they could post where they were going and allow random people to fly along. Uh, unfortunately, the FAA has shut down these services. They are both determined to be common carriage. And even the legal appeal that Flight Now did in December of 2015, that was also shut down. They argued that their websites were private and they didn't violate the FAA's regulations about sharing expenses, but the court ruled that the uh, entry barrier for this site, which was just that you had to sign up at flightnow.com and search available flights, that was way too easy, and it was way too open to just the anyone in the general public coming up and wanting to take a flight. But um, if you wanted to just advertise a flight among a small group of friends, like on a bulletin board at a local airport um, that you're going to Oshkosh to go to see AirVenture in the summer, 
that would be okay, according to what the FAA told the court. People communicating to defined and limited groups, they are still free to invite passengers along for a common purpose of expense sharing of flights. However, um, once you're opening up your offer to anyone, like these websites were doing, then you are starting to turn into a common carrier. So um, stay away from things like that. If you're a pilot, make sure you understand what you're doing when you're offering to carry people along.